Hello everyone, my name is Oldimus and today I'll be showcasing a roguelike card game called Beneath Oressa. Since Slay the Spire came out and became such a huge success a couple of years ago, it was only a matter of time for clones to start appearing. Beneath Oressa is clearly one of them, but it caught my eye with its uh, cel-shaded art style and uh, combat animations. But enough of that, I'll just let you see it for yourselves. Let's see the game's description on Steam. Beneath Oressa, a fighting roguelike deck builder, takes you deep within the city to confront your foes. As a strategist, choose your cards, upgrades and artifacts wisely, but as a fighter, turn their positioning to your advantage. The developers only released the game's demo with a planned release sometime uh, in 2022. So, if by the end of the vi this video you liked what you saw, feel free to add the game to your wishlist. I'll make sure to add the Steam Store link in the description down below. Without fur further ado, let's play Beneath Oressa. Since the gods abandoned Oressa, House Ajika receives bleeds from those who need help in the city. Choose a bleed. Yeah, not available in demo. Okay, accept. So, um, only this hero, Hectos, is uh, available for the purposes of this demo. Their faction power, power is uh, counter-attack. They have a charge meter. Each turn, two cards in uh, your hand gain zeal for the turn. When discarding a zeal card, instead of playing it, you gain two charge. Uh, when charge meter is full, automatically cancel and counter the next strongest melee attack. When counter-attacking, deal damage equal to your retribution. All right, okay, uh, and we can choose a companion, unlock your companion's teamwork perks during the mission, uh, teamwork perks, Neyrede, if, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, I see Harris to survive no matter the odds, okay, teamwork perks, she has quite a lot of them, uh, and she's the only one available for this demo. This uh, tin can isn't available. Doltar, head of the house, confront lofty threats. Okay, yeah, let's let's keep going. I suppose it's uh, it's a choose your path roguelike adventure. Okay, um, living quarters. All right. Uh, fight. Choose a strategy. Gain one card among two. Gain one injector among three. Let's observe. Learn new techniques. Right timing. If this costs two energy and it will give us 25 armor and we'll draw one card. Or shield of authority. I like that because this one deals damage as well we will deal 20 damage gain 10 armor and if you're uh, what was that retribution i think all right art of the family gain through retribution nine damage oath zero energy okay six damage if the target is still alive on its turn gain one smite Duty of the Patriarch, gain one smite on counter-attack, okay, Biting Parade, gain seven armor, alright, and these guys, they, uh, this one will uh, attack us, will melee attack us for five damage, and will give us an, uh, a debuff, this one will for six damage, and this one a six damage range attack, alright, um, this one is free. All right. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, the animations. Um, but I'll just... Um, there's no way to defeat him this turn. So I'll just uh, load up on armor. And... I'll grab this uh, buff. And that's it. For this turn. Okay. 
All right. 15 zone attack. Wow. Uh, if you're not in their zone, you will not be damaged. He, the, the other guy with the range attack is in another zone, so. That's how we. Uh, with the arrow keys, we change targets. Cool. Um, I'll just leave the zone. Should I try to defeat. The other guy. All right, uh, we'll do a smite on this one. Two out of the family and one biting parade. I'm still in the zone. I should have attacked. I should have attacked that one. infection. This card is discarded at the end of your turn, I'll copy it to your discard pile. Okay. Shield of authority. Five melee attack. Two ranged attack. Alright. Um. Let's return an attack. The oath. Alright. Uh, let's take that guy out. Let's play the Shield of Authority. And let's play this card so, so as not to spread the infection. And that's the end of turn. Alright. Successfully defended, deflected uh, the enemies. Strike. Um, I think I can... Yeah, I can take him out this turn. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Mise en place. Passing. Next round, gain two energy and two cards. Mm. Expeditious Justice. 11 damage. Discard one random card and draw one card. The price of retribution. When a foe is destroyed, gain eight armor and retribution. I'll grab um, this one. This wasn't a very good start because we've lost quite a lot, quite a lot of health. Um, scavenge. Add one stun to your deck. Gain one random anticorum. Gain three uncommon cards. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's risk it. What? Auto Looter. When it's time to fight, not to empty pockets, this Looter on the core activates alone to sometimes make happy discoveries. When a foe is destroyed, 10% chance to gain a random injector for this fight only. Alright, and gain 3 uncommon cards. And guard, gain 3 smite, a random foe gains 10. Mm, was that smite until the end of round your smite deal two extra damage after you attack a random foe suffers one something until the, the end of the round okay um, decrease teamwork by one teamwork level zero will it become negative gain one of the column will come on two Gain one random and decorum and increase teamwork by one. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Faulty Deflector. These deflectors must have been mar marvels of art in their time. Today they are still so impressive, but it is very rare to find them intact. When the fight starts, lose 2 HP, then gain 18 armor. Mmm. Yeah. Not very good, but... Anyway. Uh, this fight 75% chance to gain or 25% chance to discard a, cha a card that fights start. Pincer move. Uh, why not? Okay, we're losing 2 health, but we've gained 8 in 18 armor. Okay, so these enemies. Um, he will uh, 
he will buff himself for his allies, he will attack us for 6 range damage, and he will attack us for 3 melee damage. Alright. Okay. So. What to do, what to do. Your smites deal two extra damage. Alright, um, I can kill this one with one stroke, and I can attack the ranged guy for... Um, I can kill that one as well. No, I can't. No, no, no. I miscalculated. I can strike him. Okay, one shield of authority here. And I'll strike him for... We have one more energy. With the oath, definitely. And we have enough armor. Um, next round, gain two energy and two cards. Yeah, cool. I'll do that one. He will debuff us and hit uh, and strike us for four melee damage and six range. Cool. Um, return attack from your discard pile if it costs zero. Gain one smite. Yeah. The wolf within. Add temper and leash or feed the wolf to your hand. We'll probably play everything. And uh, this is might gain for retribution. Let's bring the oath back. I'll play it on the other guy. Um, let's see what the wolf within will give us. Lose 2 HP, draw 1 card, gain a couple of this card, gain 2 smite, each round gain 1 smite. Oh, alright. These blue ones are power cards as, uh, as far as I can tell. Mm, we need 1 energy. Oh. Chide or extract. Choose a card and this card to return anything to use this cost by two until played. Mm. Let's choose the shield, shield of authority. 20 damage. And there we go. That went pretty well. Learn new techniques, for this is our task. Each time you change zone, gain for uh, retribution, vow of violence. Return an attack from your discard pile with a zero cost, that's very nice. None shall ignore. Each round, if your HP are lower than your retribution, gain six and the end of round. All right. Regroup, rest. Uh, increase teamwork by one. Each fight heal five HP. Wow. Uh, definitely. Definitely that one. Gain one card among two. Sure. Cauterizing slash. Target gains reconstruction 5. Um, sinful strike. Another foe heals 10 HP. Uh, I can't say I'm really fond of these uh, cards, but anyway. So these, these cards definitely have to be used when the enemy is about to die. Against adversity. Zero return attack. Yeah, we can't use that because we don't have an attack in our um, discard pile. Um, all right.
have 18 armor, so we'll probably be able to uh, deflect almost all of the damage that they will uh, dish out. But I have used oath on these two, so I would like them alive at the end of this uh, turn. So I'll proceed and Might go. Cool. Use that one and unguard. All right, three smite. Cool. Um, I'll kill this one, and I will weaken this one. All right. Yeah. We are stunned. Zero fleeting. Uh, vow, vow, vow of violence. Return. Yeah. Oath. Definitely. Okay. So this one will take all three smites and he's dead. Or maybe I will um, Yeah, I will take him out. Preferably. One is for this one and two uh, biting parades to gain some armor. Bad. And there he goes. Next step, discard your hand, draw as many cards as your charge meter, uh, fluid upswing. When the run started, if this card is in your discard pile and you have zero uh, counterattack, return it. If you have an amount of counterattack, gain one smite. 13 damage and knockback. Hmm. I'll give this a try. Cool. Alright, upgrade one card among three and remove one card from your deck. I think... I think I, ha I have something I could remove. Uh, I can upgrade the Biting Parades or I can upgrade the Mise en Place. Uh, I like that. Cool. And remove one card. What should we remove? Oh, bye bye. Didn't know that I kept the stun card in my deck. That was helpful. Gain one card among two. Observe. Uh, humble Sun. 15 damage, knockback. After the attack, if you're alone in your zone, draw one card. Unforgiving strike, 12 damage, knockback. If you have another amount of contact, the target suffers one. I guess something, some sort of vulnerability. Mm. I'll go over that. Alright. Um, these two will strike us for 5. And the debuff, this one for 7. We have 18, mm, 18 armor. Probably twelve. I can probably take this one out. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I have one more energy. Uh, enough armor to uh, withstand both their attacks, so I'll just strike. Okay. Under his gaze, you give the Patriarch. Game one smite or counter attack. Return attack from the discard pile of cost zero. Game one smite. I don't think I have a zero. Yeah, I don't have, have an attack. Mm. Seven and fifteen. We need. We definitely need to uh, get gain armor. Uh, we're we're definitely gonna get punished this round. Oh, okay. I can uh, strike him with the unforgiving strike. I think the knockback will send him to another zone. Cool. And then I have only to worry about his 7 damage. One more energy. Gain one spot on counter attack. Okay, he will move in and attack, and he will attack. Uh, uh, attempts to flee far before attacking. Alright. Um, he'll probably be alive next turn. If you have another amount of. Let's fight. Let's grab the wolf within. Let's get two smite. Excellent. So we can definitely kill this one. And we have Yeah. Excellent. We had we had enough damage to uh, take him out. Gain 20 uh, armor and one of an ability. Do defense. New trial. Lose one, draw three cards. I don't like these cards at all. Anyway. Alright, upgrade one card, heal 30% of your HP, increase teamwork by one. A card for la famille, what's that? For la famille, for the family. Uh, that's, that's very fast and furious. Dominic Toretto kind of uh, line. For the family, uh, heal 30% of, of your HP, we'll go for that. Yeah. We seem to be halfway through the run. Uh, gain one injector among three, but the enemies will be tougher. Or normal attack, yeah, normal attack, definitely. Okay. Six ranged, six ranged, 22 HP each. And. Yeah, alright. Um, Okay, we have enough armor. I should keep in mind that we do. Under his gaze. Um, he's in a plus and part of the family. There's no point in doing that, anyway. Cool. Alright, spreading infection. If this card is discarded at the end of your turn... Yeah, okay, I remember that one. 22, cauterizing slash. Okay, this one will take him out in one strike. Um, 
We need 30 more damage for the other dude. That's nine and nine, yeah. And this will practically bring us outside of his zone. And we have five energy also. So we will uh, use one more energy to uh, spend this one and one duty of the Patriot, cool. And let's do the combo. There we go. And that's it. Outside of his zone, we cannot be heard. This is a Neurotizoin. Tank consumable gain three fury on draw draw one card extra I suppose mm. your smites deal two extra damage okay uh, he will deal five damage right and. Gain one fury, one fighting parade. I think this is it. Let's get two smites. That did the trick. Shadow cut. Uh, 12 damage if you have three less counter attack, draw one card. Swift. Rectification, Beast Slayer, 15, if the target ha uh, has at least 100 HP max, gain one smite. That's uh, a boss. Not a boss killer, but anyway, uh, against an elite or a boss uh, monster, I suppose. I like the knockback. I really like the knockback. Okay, increase teamwork by one. Um, and remove one card from your deck. Should we increase the teamwork? We should. Why not? Let's remove a card. What should we remove? Pour la famille, passing. Gain 10 armor and one card and 10 damage with a zero cost energy. That's a very good card. Should I remove the court? Rising slash. I'll remove the code rising slash. So it's not a bad card, but mm, this fight increases your pulse max by one. Yeah. All right. Um, two enemies, three enemies. Seven, five damage. Eight, six. Cool. Um, and we have swift rectification. Okay, we can dispatch this one, definitely. Right. All right, that's uh, one energy, two, three. Okay, uh, press the power. Then this one all right and the rectification to take him out and then art of the family oh smite cool and then turn all right I think we have an oath uh, no we don't Uh, we'll definitely use the Mizan Plus and the uh, of Violence. Mm. Yeah, for the rectification, maybe. Mm. Six armor, I can deal twenty, and that's it. But I have sixteen armor now, which is enough 
No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. He has 8 fury, so he will bypass our armor. We will receive 8 damage this turn. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, Wolf within. Let's gain 2 smite. And we have 1, 2, and 3 arts of the family. Elegant Impulse, zero cost, lose 100 attack, gain 1 energy, 5 damage. Well, I like that one. Decrease teamwork by 1. No, I don't want to decrease my teamwork. Gain 1 card among 6, gain 1 rank card, upgrade 1 card among 6. Okay. New techniques. Get another one. Zero cost. Uh, splashing scandal. That's a rare card. Thirteen damage. One co one energy. Another random foe suffers five vulnerability. Wow. That's, yeah, that's definitely a rare card. And um, what should I uh, upgrade? Shield of Authority becomes a thirty damage card. Wow. That's pretty strong. To the family, no. After your your attack, the target suffers one. Uh... Oh, okay, that's a specific target. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. After you play a card, the random foe suffers one vulnerability until the end of the round. Any card. Wow. Okay, yeah, this becomes very powerful. I'm tempted uh, to take this one, but. I think I'll choose uh, the under his gaze one. All right. Uh, as far as H HP goes, we have uh, 74 out of 90. Um, we can increase teamwork by one, which will uh, give us the heal 20 HP each critical fight. And I think I think there is a, a critical fight coming up, so I'll just do that. This fight, discard one card first round, better fight to war, definitely. I mean, it's an elite fight anyway, so a critical fight. Or it isn't, I don't know. Anyway, it won. So, uh, no, I'm not using that one. I'm definitely not using that one. Um, he's gonna buff himself. There are no other enemies. And that's it. Okay, what did he gain? Fury. And he will deal 28 damage. Wow. That's very nasty. I need to uh, somehow... Yeah. Lose 2 HP, draw 1 card, gain a copy of this card. I'll get the, uh, the smites. The last one, the last attack will be the swift, swift rectification. I have two of them. Okay, that's nice. Let's get the two smites. I have five energy. Uh, my energy cards, my cards with an energy cost are four, so I can practically use all of them. Okay, smites go first. Part of the family, by parade. That was a nice damage outburst, but I think I'll, yeah, yeah, I deserved it. Uh, he will strike me twice for 18, 
Wow. Um, I'm not using that because there's no way I can kill him with three smites and what I have in hand now. I will play this one. Biting Parade and uh, Unforgiving Strike or this one first. Unforgiving strike and Biting Parade. And I'll probably die this or the next turn. Next turn, yeah. Yeah, I'm dying now. Your smites deal two extra damage. Do you give the Patriarch in... Yeah, I, I apologize for uh, reading the cards again. It's the... Uh, I've only played uh, through this demo once. Shield of Authority. Maybe I can manage to... Um, yeah, I think I'll manage to survive this turn. Yeah. Barely, by the skin of our teeth. Now we need to deal 51 damage or we are dead. Open wounds. Splashing Scandal. Uh, one. Shield of Authority. Elegant Pulse. This is it. And this is how we are dying now. Okay. We have been defeated. So. This was Beneath Oressa. I hope you liked the, the game. If you have any questions, if you like the game, if you've played the game already, if Feel free to leave a comment down below and until next time, bye bye everyone.